what i can say by then ni ukweli kuna hiyo pressure na tuta kienyeje anakaa hivi na vile ni preference 11 minutes ago 10 minutes ago wewe <laughs> 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 zinapita 200 Mimi kidogo. Inakuwaje tu wangu nguvu. Mimi ni presenter Ali your entertainment PA and by the way the A is always for amazing. Siku zote na TBD. Kwa kikisho kwa maana kuletea stories tofauti za burudani and of course leo niko na mwanangu nguvu Daddy Owen nimekuja kupiga naye story kwa sababu kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo nahisi kwamba yanamhusu. Vipi bro ukoaje? Salama kabisa bro. Good time no see. Niko niko mzee. Kuna mara ya mwisho tuki launch album. Album eh? Yeah. Niko niko bro. Life imekupelekaje? Ananipeleka vipi sana by the way sisi complain because <laughs> So far progress nimepiga tangu la sia this year mm-hmm. and we, as, as we all know Kenya ni kama tumeanza mwaka because elections zimeisha sasa mm-hmm. kila mtu sasa government anza kufanya job mm-hmm. so all of us we we can say we are blessed we thank God because of the peace na my shake of power yeah, yeah. yeah. kama tulivyozungumza it's been i think zaidi ya mwaka tangu wachie yeah. wachie the album yeah. pengine mipango yako muziki ikoaje eh uh, in fact as we speak right now nafanya kuna album na record mm. na Uh, I think before December ndako nimeachilia video moja mm-hmm. na kuna videos pia kadhaa ambazo size iko jikoni tutatengeneza mm-hmm. so next year now it will be full of my songs all over wow. so i'll be very very active le- next mm-hmm. year because this year nimekuwa very active na mambo ya disability and all that mm-hmm. because uh, musema kuna kitu tunaitanga zaidi ya muziki unajua kuna kimziki na pia kuna zaidi ya muziki mm-hmm. what are you doing beyond music mm-hmm. so this year yangu imekuwa yangu ni zaidi ya muziki kufanya zile vitu ambavyo uh, apart from just uh, releasing songs and all that yeah. pia kusaidia jamii kusaidia wasiojiweza na pia kutumia kipawa changu ama talanta ambayo Mungu amenipea mm-hmm kusaidia wengine kwenye society. Wow. Yeah. Amazing sana. Unaweza kusema album ambayo uliachia mwaka jana ilipokelewa ulivyokuwa unatarajia? Eh okay. Cha kwanza musema hivi eh. Mm-hmm ile kwa six album so yeah. every album yangu imekuwa na very good dynamics and different dynamics mm-hmm. if i can remember very well uh, the first time nilitoa album tulikuwa tunafanya tapes peke yake yeah. tukatoka tapes tukaingia vcd my second album was more of vcd mm-hmm. my third album was more of dvds mm-hmm. my fourth album ilikuwa bado dvds and, and vcds and cds mm-hmm. and then my fifth album ilikuwa transition now from uh, uh, vcd dvd now moving to digital platforms yeah. so this was my first album to release purely on digital platform this is my first album since nianze mziki yeah. so it was very many challenges because i'm not sick of very conversant na uh, na how digital world work mm-hmm. but sign me understand mm-hmm. so my next album itakuwa itakuwa better than the album that i released last year because of few challenges here and there but mm-hmm. uh, at the end of the day kama ni receive you kama kanisa lisiko vizuri kama ni receive you kwa gospel industry lisiko vizuri mm-hmm. but in, in, in the digital platform haikufika pale nilikuwa na sio matarajio but pale nilikuwa nataka oh. yeah hivi unaisigi kwamba sometimes kanisa inaweza ikakubali kazi alafu gospel industry ikatai alafu sometimes gospel industry ikubali lakini kanisa kama haijaikubali sana hiyo ni kawaida kwa maana i remember kuna album zangu kama za kwanza za pili hivi mm-hmm. zilikuwa zina zina receive sana Mm-hmm. The first album it received sana in the gospel industry. Mm-hmm. The second album it received sana in the gospel peer. Mm-hmm. But the third album it received kwa club mm-hmm. na huko nje mainstream <laughs> sana yeah, kuliko yeah. because Kapungale ilikuwa nje za club, Tobini ilikuwa nje za club and all that. And then the fifth album now nikaifanya ilikuwa more of it received more in the church. Yo wewe ni Mungu hizo ni zile ngoma zilisiwa mostly in the church than out here. Mm-hmm. So That's the advantage muambia if you are a gospel artist uko na advantage ya muziki yako ichezo kanisani mm-hmm. ichezo kwa radio mm-hmm. ichezo kwenye klabu mm-hmm. ichezo kwa matatu uko na hiyo advantage so it's just for you kujua kama unafanya album ni gani una target wapi na gani unatakufanya nini wow. yeah. amazing sana sasa hivi gospel industry kama imebadilika kidogo there was a time kama nakumbuka vizuri the industry ilikuwa ilikuwa on top kuliko secular but ikafika mahali zikawa kama ziko sawa but this year atujaona many activities sana kwenye gospel industry wewe unahisi ni kwa nini eh being here unajua sasa mimi nakupiga kama miaka 20 kwenye sana yeah. so being here i understand the reason is in every three or five years there's always a big transition on something mm-hmm. kama ni cause mimi nimeona vitu zote nimeona wabongo wa kuja hapa Kenya wakishika kabisa muziki za bongo zinachezwa mm-hmm. nimeona Nigeria wakuja hapa Kenya mm-hmm. kuna wakati muziki zilikuwa tu za waganda chameleon bebe cool walikuwa wameshika hapa Kenya yeah. kuna wakati tukiwa wadogo ngoma zilikuwa za Kongo inaelewa kuna wakati reggae tu unajua mm-hmm. so in every five years there's a transition of something something new must happen mm-hmm. and uh, gospel ilikuwa na season yake at that moment mm-hmm. but one thing najua ina ngani cycle it i mean the cycle the gospel imeisha mm-hmm. is just a cycle because sometimes people gets 
it's normal it's human nature people get tired of listening to a certain kind of sound mm -hmm. for a while mm -hmm. and then after a while when a pick a pause when the side in and then they'll come back mm -hmm. so for me i believe you come back in a may, may, mainly by the stakeholders. Uh -huh. uh, wh wh what I can say ni, at the end of the day, uh, Zote CRT is over, mm -hmm. but uh, ni moment ni, ni, ni time to mm -hmm. kona moment. Yeah. But I believe that at the end of the day, mm -hmm. uh, easy with Zote is a change because stakeholders are too serious in what they are doing. Yeah. From pastors to musicians producers. to DJs, producers, yeah. all all the stakeholders of QRC is what they're doing. Yeah. Everything will change. But for me, it's the Kwangi Nayo. You know what I'm going to panic at? Ah, gospel in Mesha, Kuna Kitwayo. You know what? The season, the moment. But it's just, wave, it's just a wave and a cycle. Mm -hmm. And if everything works uh, perfectly, soon I'm going to get on the same. Hey, gospel in Merudi. Wow, I'm going to go to the same. I'm going to go to the same. I'm going to go to the same. We were having people saying, Kwamba, music in Kenya is Mzuri Sana, but you're not going to go to the same. And people were saying that muziki wa Kenya ndo uvuke boda lazima wasanii waimbe kwa kis, kwa lugha nyingine ambayo uh, iko na alaja market and that is English. Mimi sijui maoni yako yanakuwa ni yapi. Unajua kwa kila kila sector mm -hmm. kuna kuanga na watu wana maoni mm -hmm. kulingana vitu wana na, na macho, macho zao na kuna ile mambo ya kindani ndani. Mm -hmm. Wewe pale uko saa hii kama presenter Ali mm -hmm. unajua zile challenges unaweza kuwa unapitia in the digital world mm -hmm. na hiyo digital world kama sasa ukianza kuomba mtu if i post my video mm -hmm. while niko kwa zone ya Kenya na mtu mwingine post in the zone ya America mm -hmm. it's the same kind of video but when mtu hiyo zone and and make more money than me with the same views mm -hmm. you see those technicalities your fans can never understand and even if you try to explain it to them and you explain it kuna vitu siko baya but it's too technical for everyone who is a layman to kuishika mm -hmm. so music what do you understand the reason mm -hmm. the reason is not about language, language yeah. music in answer from the grassroots from production we, we I, I still believe we still have a long way to go when it comes to writing when it comes to mastering when it comes to making the beat mm -hmm. when it comes to um, uh, arranging the songs mm -hmm. before I took a video because there's a video that Kenya Mwana zina fanana ala vivo viko video mm -hmm. our audio bado kuna quality flanet jafikia kuna standard flanet jafikia mm -hmm. okay. na yu standard ni kitu nye is not anyone can pick it out mm -hmm. ushe sikia mko mwana ja imeekwa umeanza tu kudance nata janza kuimba immediately immediately Ajanza kuhima ni intro tu imeanza. Yeah. And then you just feel like, ha, ingoma ya manze, ingoma ni kali. Yeah. And then, but ya mananza kuhima, you realize he's not even singing in, in English. And I mean, one of those traditional languages yeah. zao. Yeah. But you don't care about what he's saying. You're just moving with the groove. You feel like, iyo groove ya ni, inakupeleka tu. Yeah. Now that is when the producer is doing his work. Now, that is when the producer ame make your track kulingana groove kabisa, aka peleka mtu mwingine, aka master. And you see all these things, it's really hard to blame the producers. Vini nimesema ni stakeholders sisi wote. Kwa mana, una mziki kabisa ukiangalia vizuri saa hii, unapata mziki, audio peke yake, audio, a very good audio in Kenya, enough of course more than 100,000 Kenya shillings. It means you take to one person and make beat yenyewe akumekena kama 20,000. Utoe kwa mwingine akufanyia arrangement akuchaji kama 30,000. Uone kwa mwingine akufanyie mastering and mixing akuchaji kama 40,000 or 50,000. You understand? Mm. So one song alone can cost you more than 100,000. Mm. The question is how many musicians can afford kuweka kwa audio peke yake? What? And more than 100,000. Okay. From there, akuja fanya very quality video. Yo video yonasamanga, mwana video za Kenya zini yo quality. That's another story again. Because from hiring the location, getting the equipment, hiring the best light, getting the cast. Because cast, unafote, unja sasa video badu wapa Kenya tuzile, eh, wei ni beshte yangu, kama mutoko video yangu. Mm. But mtu, mtu mwenye ni beshte yako, atakuja hapo, akichoka, hakuna cha utafanya? Atakuja late. Atakuja late. <laughs> atakuja na vazi zake. Yeah. Wale wa majuna jopaka hizo mavazi, mm -hmm zimenuliwa na set designer. Mm. Umeelewa? Kuna mtu ametengeza hiyo set vile inafaa kuna costume designer amesema wewe utava black pale, wewe utava white, utava grey, all out out unafaa kulipo. But hebu piga hesabu yako, hiyo video inaingia kama mita na. Mm. So ikishaingia mita na anafanya audio audio pia ikuje ikuje kama 100,000 unapata one full song itakosa kama 1.2. Wewe ni msanii mdogo. Hata hujaanza kupata pesa. Before ufike hiyo level, 
Yeah. So for the quality that Kenyans demand, it's more technical than just saying Kenyan musicians are not writing songs in English, or Kenyan musicians are not good songwriters, or producers are Kenyan Because you see, what I've just mentioned, like five categories, I've mentioned writing, you know, for a professional writer I've mentioned now recording, I've mentioned now arranging, I've mentioned mastering. I don't know different, but up in Kenya, where we're a producer, we don't have to finish our work. Because producer at a, at, at a record, at a make beat, at a master, at a mix, at a arrange, we don't have to finish our So you see, na sayo unamlipa as a, as an artist, unamlipa kama twenty thousand. Don't expect magic, bana. Unamlipa twenty thousand. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. So our fans. Sometimes the technical bit behind what is going on behind the scenes. Yes. Okay, amazing, son. You know me, part of Missouri. Sikuwa ni meelewa. Ila kuna ishu mbwemi kwe ukitrend sana kwenye mitendawa. And of course, pia ni kona ni Missouri sana ni kulize. Umesema kwa mba pressure iku kwenye familia. Kwa mba, eh, lazima utafte mke. Kunaenda aje uku? Ya ni mekule tapa, eh? Hii zingine zilikuwa tu ni priambo Kukupeleka pole pole Kabla tufingi Saa saa What I can say by then ukweli Kuna hiyo pressure of course My mama kwa zile za Hey mbana Moja kama ilisambaratika mbana imefika wakati saa Kuna nafasi we ni mwanaume Tafta mtu mwingine ukai nae But pale mi kwa ukweli nizasema ni Si pressure raisi vinyoto nafikiria Kumana pia we mwenye as a person Kuna vitu mingi lazima unujua lazima wa fanye zifanyike kwanza before useme now if you're jumping on to something else yeah so is there something that you can just wake up in the morning and decide even the kunaenda so of course nika ulizo nika sema narafuta demo anakaa hivi narafuta kienyeji narafuta kienyeji anakaa hivi na vile ni preference wano nza kwa nini nika wame ni preference kina mtu kuna preference yako because unamini kuna mtu wako maale saa nasema ah mi ndaka de mfupi ndaka de mrefu ndaka wana saa ni preference so it's just because who where i am in the society ndaka wana nza kwa nini dadi wana but ni nasema tu preference yako nile usha go nataka mtu matani pikia chakula zangu za kenyeji nataka ya nasana na na who say it unyo watu nafikiria mimi sijina hali define kinyeja kasema kinyeja kwa mtu wajia soma. You can be mtu mwela ushagwe lakini umesoma. You can be, you understand? And when it comes to complexion, it's just more of preference. Ila kuna watu mejitokeza pia na maoffers. Siju mezipata. Manzi ni kibao. Ni kibao. Sama nga hapi hivu kia sabu. Naeza kwa nisa inbox yangu hapa ushituke bro. Zinafika mia. Ah, mia tena? Mia ni kidogo wana ye. Wacha bana. Mungwa tu wana bro. Walai lakini iko between me and you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. Kaya chini aseme eh hey, jamaa tena anaenda kutoanika. Eh bana. Hizi ana mimi ana nakufungulia kizi kufungulia majina. Uone tu vile vitu zinakaa huko ndani. Naelewa kuna jina la kuonyesha lakini yaenda scroll tu uone venye venye kuna kaa. Sasa unaona ukikuja hapa unaona. Wow wow wow. Unaona hizo. Unaona hizo. Hizo te paka tukiendelea hizo te waje tuli hapa hizo te hizo te alas tifu mwana ato kisoma tuju unwa njotu nini ya nasema Nini 30 11 minutes ago 10 minutes ago Wewe zinapita miambili Miambili kidogo Miatano Iyo nyo tangu jangu juzi zimepita Tangu juzi zimepita kwa zonu na kama hii page peke yake ni 36 messages So ukiscroll ni ala 36 ukisonga hivo Na ni kisosu hiki mwisho Tuseme mia elfu moja Maybe What? Wanataka Hehehe Vienyeji naonekana wamejituma Na unajua kuangu si ati 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 nimekaa chini na 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 frai ama nini Mi kuangu nilisema You see for me I didn't say I'm applying ama watu wa apply Mi niliulizwa Mi nikajibu So saki mtafili ni kama you're taking advantage of the situation For me someone asked me It was just an interview someone asked me So right now which kind of ladies you prefer Nika sema if given a chance Nipoe chance tena nirudi kwenye ulingo Kwenye kinyanganyiro Kwenye kinyanganyiro Na dafta a dark skin lady Amelele usha go Of course nilama kwe mtu intelligent hamesoma Na vitu kama hizo na Of course the moment ukishad mention hizo vitu Kenyans you know We have nicknames for everything Au nwa kujwa kaibandika kasema Iyo ni kienyeji piwa You understand So that's Someone just asked me and I gave an answer mm -hmm. and of course Kenyans concluded. Okay. So I'm not here to take advantage of anyone or anything or the situation or uh, kufanya 
Because I don't know how messages, I don't know how to reply. Because mm -hmm. I'm just, I just said what I prefer, mm -hmm. but I'm not here to play around with people's hearts. And Pengine, how, kwenye hao, nini, unezo ka sample, sample ama uangalie, ama u, utaki yata kwa mitandao? <laughs> Unijua mine ni ulizo swali, lakini yao me apply. Mime kwa ni, siku sema ti, siku, siku sema ti, hey, kama you are a dark skin lady somewhere from where, 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 mm -hmm. please apply, I'm looking for you. I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you appear how, mm -hmm. where is your blame? Because mm -hmm. if, if you, if, in me, Palenico, I'm an opportunist. Mm -hmm. um, if you ask my friends, will tell you, oh, in a kiss, kia tu, kuna deal mali, oh, in mm -hmm. I'm an opportunist. So I can't blame them. I can't blame them because they've seen an opportunity and <laughs> it's okay. Ni wana pia pretty vish ya apply. Na mjua pretty vish. Na mjua pretty vish. Lakini ni mwambia huyo ni ni mwambia. Marathon ilianza kita. Unijua marathon ikianza. Kuna wana leading pack. Unijua marathon inanza ana watu 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 one thousand ama ten thousand. Unijua anza watu anza mbio. Wapige pap watu watoke. Na wakitoka after one hour, unonanga kuna the leading pack, kuna ili ya katikati, mm -hmm. kuna ya mpa na kuna ya mwisho. Mm -hmm. Sasa, marathon ili isha anza, mm -hmm. kuna leading pack already. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sasa, so, hiyo ndo anataka kuanza marathon. Hiyo ndo anataka kuanza marathon. Na leading pack isha <laughs> <laughs> Kuna mwingine pia sijui alimetokea kaunti gani mm -hmm. alikuwa ameshika tu hivi yes. wanakuru na yes, yes. umeona pia Nimeona bado nimeona sasa hivi mm -hmm. nimeona sasa hivi mm -hmm. nikasema venye nimesema tu mm -hmm. point yangu ni i'm not here to play around with people emotions mm -hmm. ni at the end of the day everyone ma, kana watu wana apply watu wana take advantage of the situation mm -hmm. and you can't blame them because of course i was asked and i responded mm -hmm. so me nili, nilisema tu but i'm not here to play around with someone's emotions i want to make it very clear i'm not here to play with people's hearts mm -hmm. or people's emotions mm -hmm. but mtu waki feel and i feel it's okay for them to say ama to express themselves mm -hmm. it's fine okay. it's fine because it's an it's of it's course a free, it's a free it's world, a free world. Yeah. yeah pengine haita pita lini tuseme mwaka miezi sita mm -hmm. tukuone na mtu mambo ya roo buhana wezi juwa yeah. mambo ya roo kesho mambo ya roo <laughs> <laughs> mambo ya roo yeah. oh msuhida lisema kipendacho Kabisa. Amazing sana. <laughs> Nimekuwa nikipiga story na Daddy Owen a very interesting conversation. Wale wako wana apply ni kwa sure kwamba mshapata jibu lenu. Anyways, zungumza na mashabiki zako. Eh, to all my fans, all I can say is this this moment things are happening so fast na eh, I want to make it very clear by the I'm not here to take advantage of anyone. I'm not here to play around with someone's emotions mm -hmm. or kucheza na roho ya mtu because I know how matters of the heart can be very painful and how emotions if someone play around with your emotions mm -hmm. how they can really hurt you mm -hmm. siko hapo kucheza na emotions za mtu ama roho ya mtu ama kumchezea mtu mm -hmm. kivyovyote vile mm -hmm. i'm just uh, daddy owen a gospel musician and i sp i still spread the gospel uh, of the lord mm -hmm. na bado mimi ni mwanamuziki na napiga injili na at the same time i'm still helping the uh, children who are born with disability i'm still helping persons with disabilities mm -hmm. and i'm still uh, a leader in my own capacity in this country so chochote inaendelea Mwenye amesema mwenye ali amesema it's a free world it's a free world yeah. ya mwisho hii kabisa ya mwisho e, jamaa wako juzi amesema he's worth 50 billion ringtone tumwambia nini ni kweli una unahisi ni kweli 50 billion 50 what billion 50 billion mm. eh nyie mnajua 50 billion na mna unajua na, na ngopa kusema na mdomo wangu eh. <laughs> wacha niache tu hapo 50 what billion tuachie hapo thank you very much <laughs> Asante sana. Mimi ni presenter Ali. Your entertainment PA tumekuwa na giza kidogo. Anyways, the A is always for amazing. Behind the camera ni mwanangu nguvu anaitwa Obai ama presenter Obai aka Obize. Siku zote ukitaka kufanikiwa usipende kusifiwa. I'll see you guys in the next video.